that you look at Tesla. That is, that's why I think we, uh, I was. You nailed it. Well, I texted Scott and we were both looking. I mean, I said, look, look at the left side. You got the head, you got the right side. And then it, then it broke. It broke that 50 day moving average. And uh, really, if you, it, yeah, it broke at two, it broke at 240, but you could see how, how the stock gapped down on earnings on, on huge volume didn't recover at all. There was no strong blue volume on any type of any, any rally. And then just continued to pull back all the way back to that 217 prior base, 207 area. And now, and now you're rallying. You got some good volume yesterday, but see, you're going back up into a, 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 a high or sorry, a top that you've got overhead. This is overhead supply coming in at 240. And so you have to have enough buying to get through those people who bought above 240. Who are saying, "Oh my gosh, I bought this at you know 240, 250, 260, 270, and if I can get my money back, I'm going to sell right into this." And that's what overhead supply constitutes. So you have to have some huge volume to get you up and through that. Uh, and so that's why I would be careful uh, on on Tesla right here. So when does this become a short again? I. <laughs> It might be coming into a short right here. Yeah, yeah, because um, it's it's but, kind of bumping its head a little bit. Yeah, but I I, I look at other um, you know this is where you look at overall market. You um, you look at uh, well this the group is not that uh, is not that strong. Um, there aren't that many stocks in the group. Um, so I you know with something and this is is always. Um, tough when again so many eyeballs are on the same stock yeah. i mean this is like everybody looks at this every single day um you know i it would probably be best to you know this this i don't i i don't trade rarely because it again it can it just can have swings every day is two three four percent um but i i would really like to see it hit hit resistance and then start pulling off of this uh you know hit maybe 240 today and then start pulling down or hit that 21 day moving average above it um so yeah on on this i would i i would always just be careful when you get so much attention on the stock